Hello, so you're welcome so that you can solve this maths problem. So 3 to the power of k plus 3 to the power of k is equals to 48. Solution. So let's find the value of k. So 3 to the power of k plus 3 to the power of k is equals to 48. So what do we need in the first place? We factorize 3 to the power of k plus 3 to the power of k. So this one can also be written as 3 to the power of k into bracket 1 plus 1 is equals to 48. So the next one we can work out 3 to the power of k into bracket 1 plus 1 is 2 is equals to 48. Then finally divide both sides by, by 2. So that 2 by 2 shall cancel. So now we shall remain with 3 to the power of k. So 3 to the power of k is equals to 2 year ones, 20 48 is 24 is equals to 24. So for us to solve k in the correct way, we shall now introduce the log from both sides. So here now we shall now have the log of 3 to the power of k is equals to the log of 24. So assuming that we have the log of p to the power of m, this one can also be written as m the log of p. So this one means that now our log of 3 to the power of k, we shall now have k the log of 3 is equals to the log of 24. So finally, for us now to remain with k on, both, on this other side only, we shall divide both sides by the log of 3, then this side also by the log of 3. So log 3 and log 3 shall now cancel, so that now our value for k, so our value for k is equals to now the log of 24 all over the log of 3. So most people usually make a mistake of leaving it at this particular point. We need to fa factorize it further by now saying that our k is equals to the log of 3 multiplied by 8. Then all over, all over now the log of 3. So all over our log 3. So now our k now shall be equals to. So when you have the log of a multiplied by b, so this one can also be written as the log a plus the log, the log of b. So here now we shall now have the log of 3 plus the log of 8. Then all of this now shall divide by the log of the log of 3. There. So our next step now we shall say that. So we shall now divide both sides by the log of 3. So k is equals to so log 3. Then all over the log of 3. Then plus the log of 8 all over the log of 3. So k is equals to, so log 3 and log 3 shall cancel, so now we shall have 1 plus the log of 8 all over the log of the log of 3. So now k can also be written as 1 plus, so log 8 can also be written as the log of, because 8 is equals to 2 multiplied by 2 multiply by 2. So now 2 to the power of 3. So now we shall have the log of 2 to the power of 3 all over. So this is now the log of 3. So k is equals to 1 plus. So this is the log of 2 to the power of 3 can also be written as 3 the log of 2. Then all over the log of the log of, of 3. So next now we shall now have our k so k is equals to 1 plus, so now we shall have 1 plus 3, the log of 2 all over the log of the log of 3. So assuming that we have the log a all over log b, so this one can also be written as the log of a to the base of to the base of b. So here now we can write this maths problem by saying that our value for k is equals to 1 plus 3 the log of 2 to the base of 3. So finally, this one now comes to be our final and the most correct answer. So if you really loved how we worked out this maths problem, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.